Hi everybody, welcome to Book Talk. I'm Book Club Mom, and uh, I've been meaning to make a video for the last few weeks, but life gets busy, and so today I'm just going to give you some random updates because uh, I don't have a lot of books to talk about. So, but I did want to show you this because if you've been following me, you will know that I uh, bought all these coloring books for book lovers and writers, and. Um, and I started coloring in one. So I, I've made my, I've finished one. And uh, so I'm going to share it with you. This is, I am not an artist. I mostly just color sometimes when I'm talking on the phone. And so this took several weeks to get through. Uh, but here it is. That's my picture. And um, so I'm all finished with that so I can mark that off. And just before I started, I picked another one that, um, I'm going to start coloring while I talk to you, so, or at least I'm going to try. So this one, this book, I don't, this isn't my favorite. There's a typo in one, which I thought was really dumb, but, um, so, uh, but I'm going to try this one just because it looks a little easier to do, uh, to read or not to read. What a stupid question. So that's uh, a little negative, but I'm still going to do it. So, so what's new? Uh, I've been kind of busy and I've been, uh, so the one book that I did finish recently, um, which I loved, um, was Lincoln in the Bardo by George, George Saunders. And if you want to know my review, read my review, you can find it on my blog on WordPress book club mom. So, uh, I'm not going to talk about that here. It's just a, a, a very moving book for me. And, um, so, uh, I'm glad I read it. I've been meaning to read it for a few years. So, so what else is next? So, oh, I, I have to show you a couple things. So, I'm also watching a show, and that's another reason why you know there's only just so much time that you have. And so, I'm watching The Wire now. You may remember that show. It's old. It started in the late '90s, and now, um, so I just finished season two. It stars this uh, person named. Um, his name. Um, oh, I better look. It's uh, oh Dominic West, who's in another show that I watched recently. It's like a newer show called The Affair. So I didn't even know he was in that. And um, so uh, I just finished season two, and I just started season three. And it takes place in Baltimore. It's a uh, uh, The Wire refers to. Um, uh, police wire uh, trying to crack down on um, drug dealers in Baltimore but there's like a lot of storylines so anyway that's what's spending I spent, watched many many episodes over the weekend so so now I'm going to start coloring and try to read if I can or talk at the same time we'll see what happens um, so what else is going on um, all right so this week you can see my hair is pulled back I had a bit of a hair emergency um, I have an appointment for a haircut, but I couldn't get an appointment until December with my stylist. I'm not like a big salon person, so I usually wait until, oh, now I need to get a haircut, and then I call, and it's just busy season, and I'm going to get some highlights too, so it took, I'm now I'm going to have to wait until November, or sorry, December. At least I got it before Christmas. So if there are any pictures in the holidays, uh, you know, I'll look a little decent. Um, so the other day, you might know this about me, but I ha actually have wavy hair. But it, and I used to wear it without blowing it dry. But it just, it really, uh, I got in the habit of straightening it and I got used to it. And when you're going to work, like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it always looks a little messy. So, but my hair has been getting kind of long in the front and I was thinking, well, you know, when I don't blow dry, it like shrinks up a little. So I thought, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. So Tuesday, and oh, then the other thing is on the weekend, I didn't do much to my hair at all. And it turned out pretty good, of course. You know, that's the irony of it. I was like, I could go to work like this because it looks okay. So. So Tuesday, I don't work until one on Tuesday. So I went, I did a bunch of stuff and I usually give myself an hour to get ready. And I um, thought, I'm gonna just 
wash my hair and then just let it go. So I was thinking it looked pretty good until I got to work and it was just a disaster because in our area, Tuesday was a disaster weather-wise. High winds, tons of rain. And so by the end of the, my work shift, I had pulled it all back because it just looked terrible. And I thought, never again am I gonna, and one of my coworkers was like, did you do something different to your hair? And she was complimentary, so it was all good. But um, I was thinking, ooh, I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again. So, so that was my hair emergency. The other thing I'm working on is, uh, so last year and prior years, I got really behind with Christmas cards or holiday cards. And two years ago, I didn't even mail them out until after Christmas. So that was bad. And then last year I got them out, but because of COVID and all the shortages, or uh, not shortages, but um, delays with the mail and everything, I don't think, a lot of people got my cards till weeks later. So, so this year I'm already started and I uh, ordered cards online. And so I started dressing them <laughs> today and it's a multi pack of cards. So it's like a little variety pack and um, the designs look pretty good. But then I got to this one design and um, it's reindeer. And I was thinking, I mean, I like a nice, like cheerful card or whatever. So this is it. So don't you think those reindeer look a little angry, especially the middle ones? So I'm thinking, and so be merry and bright, it makes it look kind of sarcastic. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, it's, it's a cheerful message inside. And I thought, well, okay, that's just what the card is gonna be. And there are, I guess, I think in a pack you get, say, five or so of each kind. So, uh, so not everybody's going to get this card. So if you do get it, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. So, so what is, else is going on this morning? I went for a walk cause it's my day off and, um, I took a nice long walk and I've got these great sneakers. I'm not going to show them to you, but, uh, by new balance. And then this is not a product endorsement or anything, but I love them and I was feeling very spiffy in them. And it's my second pair of New Balance sneakers. I used to run, but I don't run anymore. I just walk. And um, I have to get wide shoes because I'm getting older and that's just how it is. And so I got, the last ones that I got weren't quite as expensive. And then these, I just kind of went up a little level in uh, quality and they have been wonderful, except the front has like a mesh. And uh, now I have, my big toe has made holes in both sneakers. And that's super annoying because I take them to work because I usually walk at work on Tuesdays during my break. And uh, so now I used to feel really spiffy when I did it. Now I don't really feel, I, like they're kind of ugly now. So, but anyway, I'm just gonna wait till the treads really wear out and then I'm gonna get a new pair. So that's just what it is. All right, a couple new other things. So. Tuesday, I keep talking about work, but, um, so I hope that's not boring, but on Tuesday, I did not wear warm clothes to work. I had like a short sleeve shirt on. I did have like a little jacket over it, but, um, it wasn't like a coat jacket. And so I wore, I got into work and I was freezing and I was stuck there for seven hours. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so cold. And I normally drink a lot of water at work, especially, and that's why this water's here. Cool. By the way, my boss gave us all these um, water cups or whatever. They are the best. So I use it at home, but. So I was freezing and I had this big, huge water thing. I couldn't drink a drop of it because I was so cold. So I did not drink any extra water on Tuesday and now I'm catching up because I was parched when I went to bed and then I was like, I can't drink a ton of water now. So, um, so I'm still trying to play catch up. <sighs> so, and then the last thing that's going on with me is, I don't know if you um, know what NaNoWriMo is, but it's November is National Novel Writing Month and I'm doing it this year. And what you do is, um, you sign up online, it's NaNoWriMo, and you sign up to 
you commit and it's all very loose and it's not pressure, but you uh, sign up to write a 50,000 word novel in, during the month of November. So that's 16, 67 words a day. And um, last year I did it and I started and day one, November 1st, I came down at five in the morning and I'm like tapping away on my computer. And um, for the first week, I really had no plan on what I was going to do. And um, in the end, I did not, I just, it was a waste the first week. I did reach my goal, but the first seven days of, of things that I wrote are in no way related to what else, what came after it, but it was fun. So this year, I've already done a couple online uh, prep classes and um, I have an idea. So I'm working on that and uh, I'm excited. So that's gonna be happening starting November 1st, which is Monday. So I will be working on that um, every morning. I'm very productive in the morning. So when I wake up, I usually, well, I'm getting a little older, but I normally would wake up at five. Sometimes I used to do that because my kids were all early risers when they were young. And I felt like I had to get up at that hour in order to have a second to myself because it's really hard to uh, put your feet down on the floor and uh, work, you know, be greeting all your, your kids in the morning. And unless I've had like some tea or something like that. So that's why I got in the habit of doing it, but I'm kind of an early bird anyway. And I, I'm definitely a morning person. So starting no, November 1st, I will be at my laptop tapping away and hopefully my idea will turn into a decent plot and uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, no great aspirations. I just want to do it. And so, all right. So that's really all that's new with me. So kind of a dull update. It's just life. So, um, going to take me a while to get through this. I've only done a tiny bit, but I have a phone call in a little bit, so uh, I'll probably uh, color then too. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, and if you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on YouTube, uh, you can do that also. Um, you can also follow me, find me on social media. I'm, uh, I have a WordPress blog, Book Club Mom, and I uh, am on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, all as Facebook, uh, all as uh, Book Club Mom. So I hope to see you in one of those places and uh, I'll catch back up with you uh, again soon. Bye.